Abby Tedros here at the WBTV News Now desk coming to you live on this Thursday morning and we're looking ahead to tonight. There is a first alert in effect for the mountains and that is some good news for the ski resorts in our viewing area. Let's take a look at this a video from the base of Beach Mountain Ski Resort. We just recorded this. You can see that they are blowing snow up there this morning. And it is a welcome news that this first alert is in effect because it's been a tough start to the winter season with that warming trend that we experienced in December. But things are looking up, so I want to check in with Talia Freeman with Beach Mountain Ski Resort. Talia, it's great to have you here, and I know that you are excited about that snow coming in. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here, and we are so excited. It's been a great start to the winter season, and uh, the snow is just super exciting. Okay, I do want to ask you about, uh, briefly mentioned, that we had warm temperatures in December unseasonably and at, in some cases record warm temperatures, which I'm sure made it very hard for you all to pick up with what you traditionally do during the start of the winter season. Uh, talk to me about what you all are, how you navigated that actually, because I know it was challenging and in some cases there were days that you couldn't blow snow or make snow. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just kind of the nature of the industry we're in. You know, we're, we're used to it. It's uh, a constant ebb and flow, and, you know, we're prepared for it. Over the last several years, we've really been heavily investing back into our snowmaking infrastructure. So even though we were getting these short pockets of cold temperatures, we were able to really uh, maximize on those and make enough snow that we could be open for our customers. So, you know, even though we had a warm December, we still had a lot of people out there enjoying themselves great conditions for beginners um, and we really just had a good month but you know we struggled a bit just last week I mean Sunday it got almost 65 degrees um, you know with that said we lost a considerable amount of our snow but you know as soon as the temperature dropped we were able to kind of flip that switch and it's night and day difference right now as you showed on the web cameras um, it's fantastic conditions i know i want to pull up that video again because it was it was great watching it and seeing all that activity at the base this morning um want to just put a little note out to those who are watching we have 15 viewers watching now on facebook live and if you all have questions about what Beach Mountain is up to for this winter season, please drop your question in the comment section and then I'll go ahead and ask Talia for you. Uh, in the meantime, though, again, oh, we have 32 viewers now. Welcome, welcome. And I do see that our digital producer asked a question in the comments. Also, are you happy to see that those temperatures have dropped and are you planning on making a trip to Beach Mountain Ski Resort. So feel free to comment and let us know. In the meantime, I will be asking Talia some more questions and feel free to listen and drop your own questions as well. So what all do you guys have planned for this winter season? I just checked your uh, itinerary and at least for today, it looks like there are 12 trails that are open. Yeah, we do have 12 trails open. We've got four chairlifts. Um, I do anticipate over the next week we'll continue to open more terrain. We were able to open tubing today for the first day of the season. So um, tubing is now open. We have um, a great tubing facility. It's right next to, I'm pointing over here like you can see me and you can't, but it's right next to this awesome little fire pit area that we just built. We have multiple fire pits right next to a little coffee shop. So it's just the perfect winter atmosphere. We're really excited about that. I know, and I actually was looking at your website and saw that there was, uh, I know the much loved by those who visit the brewery that you all have up there. How are things uh, shaking out for uh, the brewery? Yeah, the brewery is also in the village in that location I was telling you about. So it's right next to tubing. So I think one of the cool things about Beach Mountain Resort is that even if you're not a ski or snowboard enthusiast, it's really just a comfortable place to come and relax, have a meal, drink a beer, have some hot chocolate, sit by a fire pit. I mean, it's, it's a gorgeous uh, facility. And, you know, we're really proud of that. We do live music every weekend at the brewery. We always have events here. So it's, it's just a really nice atmosphere. And we've had a lot of momentum this year, despite the warm start to December. Let me ask you about um, winter season passes. I know that now that it is 
cooling down and the temperatures are more conducive to uh, what you all like to see at the ski resort. What is the winter pass situation looking like this season? Well, we have a variety of different passes. We have unlimited passes. We offer weekday passes. We do season pass discounts for military families. We, our season pass sales are way up this year. Um, you know, we've got a really loyal customer base and I think that's really just a testament to what we've been trying to do here. Um, you know, people are excited about coming and surprisingly people are still buying season passes. I mean, we still have three solid months left of our winter season to buy a pass. Um, we also do weekday night specials, which, you know, is perfect for someone in the Charlotte area just to zip up here for a night. Um, tonight is ladies night. It's only $15. So there's a lot of affordable ways that you can come and test out the sport. All right. Talking about some of those activities, both new and old. Uh, mm -hmm. We just heard from a viewer saying this is Lista Benton. I'm looking down at our comments in the Facebook comment section. Lista says she's coming up on the 18th and she hopes it's not going to be in the 70s. That's totally understandable. Uh, she was just talking about how warm it's been. So she is excited to visit. That is some good news there. I'm sure you have a lot more people who are excited to head up this winter season. Let's talk about um, some of those COVID-19 precautions that you all have in place. Yeah. I know that uh, a lot of the activities are outdoors, so it'll make it easier to navigate if there are concerns with COVID-19, but for those who are gonna be indoors, maybe going to that brewery or any of the restaurants, uh, what are you all planning? Well, our first and foremost, we're just abiding by all state mandates. So, you know, we're trying to keep our staff safe. We wanna keep our customers safe. Our staff wears masks at all times. Um, we work diligently to make sure that we're cleaning our facilities and really providing a safe and comfortable atmosphere for our patrons. Um, if you are on the property, you are not required to wear a mask. We do strongly suggest that. Uh, we do have some all day uh, youth programs that we require masks in when they're indoors, but overall we're just trying to um, abide by those mandates, make sure that our patrons feel safe, listen to feedback from our customers and really just kind of keep um, our pulse on what's going on with the pandemic because you know as you guys know it's um, kind of you know been a, a roller coaster over the last two years for any business owner and you know after last season I feel quite confident that we're doing a good job and um, you know if you're looking for a safe activity there's nothing better than just being outside um, and that's something that we can really provide with skiing and snowboarding and tubing. Hey uh Tali, I do see that we have another commenter. Oh, Renee Shannon Fisher says that she wants snow. So let me, while we are chatting, let me pull up this video we were able to record from the base there. You can see that there is plenty of snow. So some welcome news there for those who are planning on heading up. Let's talk about uh, what it's been like for you all in terms of activities. So I'm sure in 2020, you know, there were closures and then also just a very different experience 2021 was it a little slower and what's it looking like this season since you all have opened well you know i think one of the silver linings for us with the pandemic has really just been that people have taken a taken a vested interest with outdoor recreation so you know despite um the challenges we faced last year we saw a huge um spike in people wanting to try the sport so, you know, we've really seen an increase in business overall, um, a lot of new customers, um, and I do see that trend continuing. Um, you know, we're getting a lot of people that just want to be outside, want to try to learn to ski and snowboard. Um, so I, I think it's a real positive for us. And, you know, I know we had this comment just a few minutes ago, but I wouldn't let it scare you if it's 70 degrees in Charlotte. I mean, it can be very, quite warm and actually be a really incredible skiing experience. You know, and despite the warm temperatures that we had in December, um, it was, you know, still incredible conditions for people to learn, people to um, try the sport. It was awesome. Okay. Talia, let me ask you, what are your snow totals right now and what are you expecting them to be after our first alert that's in effect for the mountains this evening? Oh man, you're catching me off guard there. I'll be honest, I don't know what our snow total is for this year. It's 
it's pretty small compared to what it usually is, but I feel really confident in where we're going with um, going into January. So on Monday, we received about seven inches of snow in just a matter of hours. It was incredible. And that was the first real snow that we've had this winter. So um, that was just, you know, when you work in the industry and you get natural snow, it's an incredible feeling and really just gets our customers excited. And, you know, we saw that excitement on Tuesday because we were busy. Uh, we're in, looks like tonight we're going to get maybe one to three inches. That's what they're saying. So, you know, we've really been able to capitalize on this cold weather and make a lot of snow in addition, like you showed on the um, base camera. So I would, you know, definitely encourage people to take a look at our cameras. I'll actually um, send you, which is pretty cool, a time lapse of where we were on Sunday um, after we experienced the rain to where we were on Monday after we were able to make snow. And it's just night and day difference. It's awesome. So we're hoping for more snow tonight, fingers crossed. Yes, and you certainly will get it. So that's some good news there, according to our team of meteorologists. Want to look at our comment section. It looks like Don Norman, yes. She said, I want to go tubing this weekend. I'm sure that's some, uh, you all welcome that. Uh, so let me ask you one more question before we go. Uh, what are your secondary plans if you don't see a lot of snowfall this season? I honestly, I feel okay with that. You know, as long as we get these windows of cold temperatures, we can make snow. We have um, an incredible fleet of automated fan guns. So as long as we get these pockets of weather below 32 degrees, um, even if it's just a few hours a week, we can really sustain our product, our snow on the slopes. So, you know, like I said, even if we get a warm up in the Charlotte area or off the mountain, I wouldn't let that scare you. We've still got a good product on the hill. The snowmaking technology um, in 2022 is incredible. And, you know, we're, we're really fortunate. I mean, it's, it's not like it was 10 years ago when I started at Beach. Um, what we can do now in just a matter of hours with some cold weather is awesome. So even if we don't get natural snowfall, which we all love, we're still going to have great skiing and provide a great experience for our guests. All right, uh, Talia, I really appreciate you joining me here at the WBTV News Now Desk. Anything else that you would like to share with our viewers? We still have a good amount of people who are watching this chat. So if anything else you'd like to share before uh, some of them maybe head down for this chilly weekend. Just encourage people to watch our web cameras on our website, beachmountainresort.com. You can click web cameras on the front page on the home page and that'll give you an indication of what conditions are like you can also follow us on our instagram which is just beach mtn or find us on facebook we're very active on social media um, and we would just welcome you to come here whether you're a skier or a non-skier it's a great atmosphere just to experience um, a true winter experience and i really appreciate the opportunity to be here today thank hey, you hey talia we appreciate you so much if you all are watching on facebook live this stream is about to end but our coverage will continue on the wbtv news app